Hey what's up guys, welcome to the channel again. What I'm about to do today is to show and guide you guys who have Mimix on how to make Mimix's camera great again. I've been playing with the camera for almost 2 months now and I seriously think that it doesn't really are able to pull its own weight. Especially when it's sold at this premium price. So without any further ado, let's go. Now, let's recap on the specs of the camera first. For the primary camera, it comes with a 16 megapixel f2.0 autofocus and dual LED flash. Although it doesn't come with an IS for still shots, it does have an EIS for video recording. Talking about video recording, it could record in 4K at 30 FPS, Full HD at 30 FPS, and HD at 120 FPS. For the selfie camera, it is just a 5 megapixel camera. Now, so what's wrong with the camera? After using it for nearly 2 months now, my personal review is that the consistency of white balance it produces is solely and totally dependent on the amount of light there is at the location that you are taking the picture. So, how do we make me make this camera great again? Before we go into it, I've penned 3 of the websites in the description below that provides a very detailed review of this phone including the camera. Alternatively, you may google it. Ok now, this is how I'm going to run this main juicy part of the clip. As you can see from the table, I'll be covering two sections, photography and videography, both of which will be further split into three camera settings, the default, best and two paid apps called camera fv5 for still pictures and cinema fv5 for motion pictures. These three settings will be subjected to low lighting and softbox lighting conditions. Comparison will be made on all three settings to see which configuration will give you the best picture quality between the two lighting conditions from each section. First up, we compare the still shots between the default and the best settings from the stock camera. As you can see, using the best settings, it is less grainy and sharper. Especially so when you zoom into the picture to two times the magnification. From there, we compare the best settings with camera FV5. As you are able to tune the camera FV5 to whichever settings you want, it could actually capture a brighter picture compared to the best settings from the stock camera app. So, in still pictures comparison, I personally feel that camera FV5 takes the cake hands down. As for the picture between default and best settings on the softbox lighting, again, best settings gives you a more accurate white balance with a much crisp image. When we compare the best settings and camera FV5 again, I noticed that the color produced by the best settings gives you a darker tone on my cutting board. Therefore, I would give the camera FV5 as it produces a picture that is slightly brighter and color tone closer to the object that we are taking. I think it is clear that the default setting gives us warmer video quality than the video from the best settings. Over here, I have a hard time deciding who is the winner. But after watching it for 10 over times, I noticed that the video with the best quality gives us a little more grain than the video using Cinema FV5. Therefore, Cinema FV5 takes the win for low lighting conditions for video quality. I think until now, 
we can conclude that the stock camera with the default settings aren't able to produce any good quality shots, since we know the best settings to use for the stock camera. Similar to still pictures, due to the controllability of the app, it can produce a better video quality with color closer to the subject that we are taking than the stock best settings. Thus, we would give the trophy to the paid apps for videography as well. For those who don't wish to fork out any cash for the apps, best settings actually do give a decent picture quality especially in outdoor shots with bright lightings. The white balance of the sensor with sufficient lightings is actually quite accurate. You might need to pump up the exposure to 0.3 to 0.5 or even 0.75 to get an even more true white balance. So, what's the best settings that I keep talking about? For photography, keep everything as default and change the following. Camera frame to be 4 is to 3. Picture quality should be high. Anti bending, keep it at auto. Auto exposure settings to be frame average. Sharpness set to highest. And lastly, choose HDR. But do note that it might take a longer time to process the picture. At that time, do not move your phone. If you do, it might give you a blurry picture. As for videography, of course choosing 4K for best video quality. Use tap focus and set the anti-bending to auto. Alright, that is about all I could advise on how to make Mimix's camera great again. If this video helps, do hit the subscribe button and like button. If not, do let me know what I could have done to improve on such video in the comment section below. As always, thanks for being here and your continued support. Do have a good day and cheers.